Oh, I'm Michael Galfo, bless you, with another lockdown update. Can you hear that? Man? You know, people mowing their lawns in the background, it's fucking quiet, it's nice, peaceful. Someone just beat their horn at someone. Hey there, calm down. People always doing well. I do. Sincerely hope you're doing fucking well. You know, boom, man. What we chat about? The way you I'm the fucking one who's chatting, you're listening, or watching, or observing. Yes. Hey. You know what, man? Of the time for thy coming out has approached. I reckon it's about time we did a uh, kind of like a call and response between myself and you good people. Thus, I think it's a good idea if you maybe on the comments in this video, both on the YouTube and Instagram machines. Where if you want, ask me a, a question, if you give a fuck, something you want to know, and I'll answer it for you. But I'll add the uh, the caveat that if you think you're going to be a funny cunt and ask funny questions and be like a clever cunt, you're already behind the eight ball. I don't know, miss. Ask that, though. Don't try to be clever. That's fucking, that's the old Lao Tzu. Taoism. The Taoism, the Tao of Pooh. You ever seen that Winnie the Pooh? I don't mind that When you the poo, people thought he was a fucking, just a dopey fucking bear. He did nothing, whatever, and he just, life would just happen to him. And he'd be like, oh, oh this is happening now, oh, all right. And he was surrounded by the fucking, the wise owl and the donkey and all these other people, all these other animals. They had different aspects to their personality, different sort of personality traits that we all carry with us. One was trying to be a funny cunt, the other one was trying to be a fucking smart cunt and whatnot. And Winnie the Pooh wasn't any of those things, he just, he just was. And I think that is uh, something to aim for. That state of just being, that state of desirelessness, I think, that's a true state of my gear. And it's not necessarily where you don't give a fuck about anything, but just don't give a fuck at all. Doesn't mean you don't care about people, doesn't mean you don't love people, you don't empathize with people. Why the contrary? Just means you just are. And I think that's something that I certainly aspire to. That state of flow, that state of deep maximum magia. Nice. And so, if you want to post a, like a question or something, if you want to know something, if you, have an, if you have an idea that you want to share or whatnot, put it in the comments there. Can't promise I'll get to all of them, but the ones that pique my interest. I'll respond accordingly. And again, if you're one of those funny cats that have been commentating, or commenting, I should say, with the Kotsanes, but you know, Greeks are Kotsana is like a little fucking smart alicalism. Just a little fucking throwing a Kotsana there, like, eh. There's a little bit of a spanner in your comedic works. You one of these cats. Go write a book there. But if you genuinely want to know something about me, or even more importantly, you know, fuck, it's not all about me. If you want to express, if you want to start a conversation about something that means something to you, be my guest. And just one more thing. You okay there? Better by that girl. How's your mental health? 
And people, if you know someone who's struggling, reach out to them. Don't wait for them to reach out to you. Because the fact that they're struggling might mean that they don't have the fucking energy to do that to them. Don't put that extra stress on them to fix themselves. Reach out. Bet you can't tell I haven't had a shower yet today. Huh? This is how I wake up. Well, it's nice, though. Not too bad, I do.